On March 4th of this year, Governor Brewer presented her five-point plan for balancing the budget on the floor of the House of Representatives. That plan included budget cuts, initiative reform, budget reform, tax reform, and a billion-dollar increase in the sales tax. At the time, we expressed serious concerns about raising taxes on the citizens of Arizona, particularly in a time of deep recession. Unfortunately, the governor's own budget proposal released on June 1st falls short of her own five-point plan. In that plan, she called for a billion-dollar reduction in state government. Her plan does not reach that goal. Conversely, the legislative proposal does. Legislative leadership has worked diligently with Governor Brewer in attempting to bring her to the negotiating table since January. Those attempts were unsuccessful. So on June 4th, we passed the budget without the governor's assistance, and in fact, with her active opposition. In spite of that opposition, 31 members of the House and 16 members of the Senate chose to pass a balanced budget. Governor Brewer has threatened to veto that budget. That would be a mistake. To do so at this time raises the specter of a shutdown of state government. That would be unnecessary and irresponsible. The fact is the voters of Arizona sent us here to make these decisions. And this legislature has acted accordingly with a budget that is balanced, responsible, and respects the taxpayers who pay the bill.